So here we are over near the Griffin Pub, just finished about 1,300 feet, I think. We put a fence in there, uh, sorry, a gate post, but they're going to take care of this front bit. The whole fence line was at least as bad as this. Uh, you'll see as we go along what it looks like now, but old wire and trees, uh, 80 years of old fencing and growth all tangled together. So I started, oops, oh I'm exhausted. I started here, usual deer fence, and cleared and this was all blackberry. And then look how tight the wire is. I worked with the customer on this one. Grumpy as usual I was, trying to make him go faster. <laughs> ah, I'm funny like that. I just wanted it to go quickly and I like being in turbo mode. But um yeah, we uh, got it in between the posts and the trees, which was the challenge, so that we could staple from this side. It's a long run down here. Behind the trees, and then the mother-in-law lives next door. So we put a gate here, and then Another long run. Uneven ground, this was fun. And my mother-in-law wanted to keep as many of the trees as possible. I wanted to knock the whole lot down and make a clean sweep of it, but I understand. A lot of nice dirt there. But this was again a tangle of wire and bush. And Awful, I guess, hawthorn, nasty prickles that really friggin' hurt for days. Oh boy, I got another 2,000 feet starting tomorrow. Oh, along here, my gosh. And then there was a big discussion about these trees in the corner. So what we did was this terminated the fence, pounded in a few posts and left it to fill in around the trees. And then this bit here, all the way to the corner up there was such a swamp. I had to dig a ditch. You can see how much water is in there. My goodness. So I, I dug a ditch all the way along, which was a slurry, and then built the fence on the other side of it. Oh my God. <laughs> and this was still soft for the machine but it had a day and a half to drain because I was, I was sinking into it to the top of my tracks. What an adventure. This was all dense bush and nasty, nasty stuff. And then we come to the corner and there was a neighbor with a chain link fence, which I joined into. Here's all existing fence. And look at all the stuff we took out. And then I started the fence again and just joined it in here. And then I cleaned up the neighbor's fence here. Talked to any of the neighbors that I could find and came down on the edge of this ditch, but on this side of it, which was nice. All the way along. 
to this corrugated fence here. Man, it's an ugly fence. That corrugated is like a prison camp in there. And then, because they're not very pleasant people, we didn't even staple to it. I'm sure they have their reasons, but anyway, there you go. Now it goes from here, right down the bottom, across the back, and up this side, way into the corner beyond the property, beyond the house. And I am done. Okay.